OSM channel, I cannot think of a bigger frustration off the top of my head than trying to drill through metal with a dull drill bit. Therefore, I find it prudent to make a video teaching you how to sharpen drill bits with a benchtop grinder. Now, this is such an important skill for every homebody mechanic to have. It not only saves you money from having to buy new drill bits, but it also very well may get you out of a bind. A specific example for me, I was working down in Manhattan installing new door hardware on a building. It was the weekend, no hardware stores were open, and the drill bit that I was using was not creating any, any chips at all. So being the resourceful person I am, I looked around, saw what tools I had, had a four and a half inch angle grinder with a grinding wheel, and I was actually able to utilize this angle grinder to sharpen my drill bit, and I was able to go on my merry way, and we were able to complete the job that day. Learning how to sharpen a drill bit on a benchtop grinder is such an important skill to have. Believe it or not, this case of drill bits right here, I've actually had this for the past seven or eight years. Anytime one of these drill bits gets dull, just whip out the benchtop grinder, sharpen it, go on my merry way. The only time I had to replace my drill bits is when one of two things happen. Either I break the drill bit or I lose it. Simple as that. So without further ado, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer and I'll talk about the process as to how I sharpen these drill bits. Now, if you've never sharpened drill bits before on a benchtop grinder, it may be helpful to purchase one of these jigs. And what you do, you put the drill bit in this jig and then this just helps you to achieve the right angle on the cutting tip of the drill bit. Typically, I shoot for 135 degrees, but if I'm being quite honest, I rarely use this. 95% of the time, I'm just pre-handing this on the grinding wheel. I kind of have a feel for it now, but every once in a while, I will whip out this jig, just kind of use it for reference and ensure that I'm getting my angles about right. So if you were to use the jig with the grinder, I mean, it would look something like this. The drill bit doesn't really spin too well, and I just find this kind of cumbersome. So I find it much easier to freehand sharpen these bits. Now, before I show you the technique as to how to sharpen this drill bit, let's talk a little bit about how it works. So obviously you would tighten this down in the chuck of a drill. The drill bit would rotate clockwise. And the first part of this drill bit to make contact with the surface that you're cutting through would be the cutting edge. Here's a cutting edge. As you can see, it's very dull. And here's the second cutting edge, again, very dull. Now, it's very important that the cutting edge is the highest part of the drill bit. If you notice, as I rotate this, it may be kind of hard to see, but the cutting edge is slightly higher than the trailing edge of the cutting edge. And that's really important because if we have it the opposite way, if the trailing edge of the cutting edge is higher than the front side of the cutting edge, well, you're never going to be able to cut through anything because the cutting edge is never going to make contact with the surface. So how do you maintain that proper slope? Well, here's what you do. First, you want to line your drill bit up with your grinding wheel at your specified angle. Again, I'm shooting for 135 degree angle here. Now, the first thing that I'm going to make contact with the grinding wheel is the back edge of the cutter tooth, right? So I'm going to make contact with the back side first. I'm not going to make contact with the cutting edge first. So we'll make contact with the back side. I'm going to put heavy pressure initially, and then I'm going to rotate this bit. But as I rotate it, I'm going to back off some of that pressure. So again, I'm trying to grind down more material on the, on the back side and then slowly build up uh, that slope to the cutting edge. But again, you need to take off enough material to ensure that that cutting edge is nice and sharp. And because we damaged this a bit, it's probably going to take a couple passes. And if you don't get this right on the first time, no worries. Just take the bit back over to the bench grinder and keep playing around with it until you get that proper slope and your bit's cutting properly. So I'll show you this in action now. So I just wanted to put the drill bit in the jig for a moment and just kind of check my angle and it's pretty darn close. Maybe I could have made it a little bit steeper, but if this doesn't cut well, no big deal. All I need to do is take it back over to the bench grinder and we'll make it a little bit steeper. So if we take a look at this sharpened drill bit, you can see how the cutting edge is higher than the back side of the cutting edge. You see this slight slope? Again, that's critical. So again, the cutting edge is higher than the trailing edge of the cutting edge. So let's take this over to our piece of material and let's see how well this drills through it. 
Let's try and continue on from where we were unable to drill through earlier. What a difference. And that's how a drill bit should drill. Let's do that again. Nice big chunks, beautiful. What a difference, huh? The proof is in the pudding. Now, something I will say, if I did grind the angle of the cutter tip a little bit steeper, it probably would have drilled through the metal a little bit quicker. However, what I've come to find is that the steeper you make that angle of the tip of the drill bit, it seems like the faster it dulls down as well. So, you know, if you go too shallow, then it has a harder time cutting in. So I think the equilibrium again is at about 135 degrees, but again, this is just such a handy skill that every home body mechanic should have and learn. You know, they do have the, the drill bit doctor and stuff like that, but I, I find that completely unnecessary. This is something anybody could do with a little bit of practice and having a bench top grinder. And you can do this with smaller drill bits too. Uh, but I will say the smaller the drill bit, the harder this becomes. But at the end of the day, this is very forgiving, right? Like if you sharpen one of these bits and it's not cutting well, just take it back over to the grinder and try it again. Practice makes perfect. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you on the next one.